everyone, this is Miss Sheldon and today I'm here to give you a live lesson on the formation of river landforms, waterfalls and gorges. You will need to get a pen and some paper to complete written activities and ideally a pencil so you can sketch some diagrams as we go through. I'll give you some time to get that together so you're prepared. Your first task today is to recall information from Mrs Perry's live lesson on fluvial or river processes. Mrs Perry outlines the processes of erosion, transportation and deposition. Using your pen and paper, complete the five recall questions. So, 1. Deposition is when. Consider what it is and why it happens. 2. Erosion is when. Again, consider what it is and why it happens. 3. Transportation is when. What is it? And why does it occur? Four, name the four types of erosion. And finally, number five, the force of the water pushes into cracks in the rock, breaking bits off. Which of the four types of erosion is this describing? I'll give you two minutes to complete the task. Here are the answers to the recall questions. So, number one, deposition is when the water loses energy and drops material. Two, erosion is when the rock is worn away by the water. Three, transportation is when eroded material is carried along by the river. Four, name the four types of erosion is hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition, and solution. And finally, number five is what type of erosion is the following description about? The force of the water pushes into cracks in the rock, breaking bits off, is hydraulic action. Can you please mark your answers and check their right. So the focus of the day is on the formation of a waterfall and eventually a gorge. A waterfall is where water falls down a vertical drop in the channel, usually from a considerable height. In stage 1, as you can see on the PowerPoint, rocks are laid down horizontally. The waterfall starts at the junction, the bit between the hard and the soft rock. At this point, the soft rock erodes quicker. Um, I'll give you one minute to create a sketch of diagram 1. This will be useful later on when we try to apply all this knowledge to an exam question.
At stage two, the waterfall is becoming established. Soft rock is eroded underneath and underfoots the hard rock. There is hydraulic action at the bottom where the water compressing air weakens the rock till it falls. As you can see at the top, the hard rock is an overhang and is no longer supported and is becoming more and more weak. Again, you have one minute to create a sketch or diagram for it. At stage 3, the waterfall is well established. At the top of the diagram you can see where the unsupported hard rock has collapsed and broken off into the bunch fall underneath. The fallen rock breaks off and is caught up in turbulent flow. The plunge fall is where the hydraulic action and attrition are happening. These three stages repeat and the waterfall goes back, retreating up the river. By the end of stage 3, a gorge is starting to form, the steep sided valley going upstream. As these processes repeat, the gorge retreats and grows larger. You have one minute to create a sketch of Diagram 3. Like in our normal geography lessons, I now want you to apply this knowledge to an exam question. Similarly to lessons, if you have a highlighter about, I recommend you highlight key geographical terminology that is on this PowerPoint slide. You have six minutes to have a first attempt at the question. Find the formation of a gorge.
Here is a model answer for the question that you've just answered. Your task is to complete it using the gap fill activity that's on the slide. Again, you have six minutes to complete the task. Make sure that you use the key terms that are in the pink column. On that go through the model answers, um, can you please go through and just check that you've got them wrong for me, make any changes if you hadn't. So, the first bit, a waterfall forms because of the two layers of rock, a layer of hard rock lays over a layer of soft rock. The water begins to erode the soft rock, which is less resistant. The erosion of the less resistant rock underneath undercuts the hard rock above. Hydraulic action and attrition work together to create a plunge pool at the foot of the waterfall. The ledge which overhangs the plunge pool eventually collapses under its own weight. The material is then transported downstream. And then finally the last one is the waterfall now takes a position further back. Over time this creates a gorge. This is a long stretch of river surrounded by a steep sided valley. To recap, I have bullet pointed the processes into seven stages. Your last task for today is to reorder them. You have three minutes to try to put A to G in the correct order.
here are the answers to our recap tasks. Can you please go through and check that they're right? Maybe reorder any that, that need to be. So the first one is a river flows over alternating layers of hard and soft rock. The river erodes the soft rock first and falls vertically over the hard rock. The rock behind the fall of water are eroded by the splashback and an indent is created. An overhang of hard rock is created by continued underfooting. The overhang eventually collapses, creating a point of fall below. The process of headward erosion repeats and the waterfall retreats upstream. And then finally, this leaves a steep, this leaves steep sides on the side of the valley known as a gorge. Finally, thank you very much for attending the live lesson today. I do really appreciate it um, and, and all your hard work, so well done for that. Um, I've attached a link on this PowerPoint that's to the National Geographic. Um, so if you go on there, there's lots of stuff about rivers and, and specifically waterfalls. Um, it gives you some examples and a little bit more in depth at some points about the geography behind it and the types of waterfalls that there are um, that might be of interest to you if you'd like to look a little bit deeper into it. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye.